The Wayne family adventures continue with four new issues, beginning with Batman finding his security has been breached and his bat tech has been stolen by someone from a bunch of different safe houses. Thanks to his detective skills and just general preparedness, Batman soon finds the criminal is breaking into another of his safe houses right then and there, so he suits up and goes to confront them, wondering who is bad enough to steal from him. Surprisingly, he finds that the criminal is still in the building, using the toilet no less. It's not a criminal as Batman soon finds out it's just Red Hood who has been using the safe houses for pit stops and breaks, taking some of the tools there when he needs them. Jason quickly snatches up an old flashbang from the stores before leaving, making Batman comment about how he always gives Jason the newest gear every month so he doesn't need to always keep coming and stealing the old stuff, tidying up after his adopted son before taking his leave. Later at the Wayne Manor, the Bat family do some intensive training, with the boys' competitive natures getting the better of them, all working out hard to outdo one another until finally they are all doing one-handed, one-finger push-ups, knowing the first to 100 wins. Cassandra, however, knows that that's going to be a bad idea as later, the boys can barely lift their arms, all futilely trying to eat their dinner, but they can't, all while Cassandra reminds them that she told them that this would happen. Later on, Dick moves some boxes into the manor, telling Bruce that there was a sale on Justice League memorabilia and he bought up a bunch of stuff for everyone from their favourite heroes. Bruce finds that nice as he notices Dick wearing a Superman hoodie, which Bruce knows that figures. Later on while training, Bruce sees Jason wearing a pair of Wonder Woman themed sweatpants, which annoys him. Later in the cave, Duke is taught some important tech stuff by Barbara, knowing he's equally important as punching things. Bruce is shocked to see that Barbara is wearing a Black Canary band shirt and Duke is wearing flash branded sneakers. Duke notices that Bruce is getting frustrated but Bruce says he's fine as he rips up his paper and leaves. Later at dinner, Bruce again gets frustrated since Stephanie is using a green arrow tumbler, finally yelling about why on earth would she like green arrow of all people. Steph says that he's cool and he fights without powers. Bruce says that he does all that as well, but the woman knows that he's not a blonde and doesn't use a bow. At the Watchtower, the Justice League gather for one of their meetings and Superman asks Green Arrow if Batman is broodier than usual as they see that Batman is seething across the table from them. Oliver, however, knows it's normal for Batman to be that serious. Sometime later, the Bat family are all gathered by Tim who says that Duke just got his first milestone in Vigilante Bingo, having captured a villain and taken them to Arkham by himself. The family congratulate him as Duke asks about the bingo game, so the team all tell him how they can score in the game, mentioning things like making your own superhero team, or changing your hero name, or being trained by an assassin, or even dying. Duke finds some of those rather concerning, not wanting to play the game anymore, but Dick reassures him there are some fun ones as well asking if anyone's ever pulled a prank on Batman. Both Dick and Damien remember the time of exchanging Bruce's smoke bombs with glitter bombs, but Damien thinks that that was stupid as the rest of the family put their hands up as well, and Duke really wants to hear all of their prank stories now. The Wayne Family Adventures issues 4-7 to seven continue the fun and relaxing slice of life stories of the Bat Family, this time giving us a great smattering of everyday shenanigans the family get up to. Like many others, I think it's refreshing not to have to worry about big tie-in events or serious storylines or where this falls in continuity and canon. We just get to hang out with these characters and they're given really human moments and moments that I think others have been part of, like competition between siblings and favourite and stuff like that. It's just great to see these moments get a spotlight for a change. I'm going to give these issues a 10 out of 10.